Howdy, and welcome to another episode of the almost world famous Cactus Atlas. On today's episode, we're here in Flagstaff, Arizona, about to take a chairlift up a scenic route over here to see the aspens showing off their beautiful fall colors. If you want to find out what this adventure is like, let's go find out together. So if you want to do the chairlift, the scenic chairlift where you get to see the leaves, you pretty much take Snowball Road pretty much as far as you can go. And you can see here's one of the parking lots that we actually parked in. A little tricky getting in and out of there. It's pretty narrow, but once you park, you just simply walk up here to the uh, this lodge. And then when you first enter, there are some computer screens where you're actually gonna just uh, electronically sign a waiver form. And then after doing so, you can buy your tickets for the chairlift, which is actually kind of hard to see, but it's right back over there. It's the back side of the lodge. And our destination is right here on these chairlifts. You could actually see there's snow on the ground up here, which is so strange for us coming from Phoenix, where we were just running the air conditioner a couple hours ago today. So this is a historic occasion for me. In addition to coming here to do a scenic autumn activity that I've never done before, I've never uh, rode a chairlift before in my life. So this is a first. I'm a little nervous, to be honest, especially since they had to sign a waiver form. Hopefully there's a lap bar or something. I'm not sure how this works. I think, Amy, you're a little nervous too, aren't you? Yeah, she's a little nervous too. So we'll be nervous together today. So we did inquire that um, it's about an hour round trip to get to the top, but once you get to the top, you can get off. And she said you could stay as long as you want. Um, so I guess the amount of time it takes depends on how long you decide to stay at the top. I like that it says sunny with a chance of more sun. My kind of weather. But as you can see, high temperatures near 41 degrees. So it's gonna be a little bit chilly. So they do, for whatever reason, load every other chair. So. so it looks like you wait for the empty chair to go in front of you, and they'll, they'll walk you up, and then you stop on the yellow line, and then you wait for the seat to hit you in the butt. The excitement is mounting. So pretty easy, they pause it for you. So looks like the gentleman will flip the bar for you. And then all you have to do is just sit, and they even got little things to put your feet on, it looks like. Our time has come. We are to follow behind here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. And that's our chariot right there. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We are locked and loaded. And look at this, folks. It just snowed here. I feel a cool breeze blowing. And right ahead, I see the beautiful aspens. Okay, so we have started our journey. You can see behind us, it pauses every once in a while. And so far, we're not too high up off the ground. I'm not too nervous. This is actually very smooth and slow. So, so far, so good. Amy, let's get a report from Amy. How do you feel, Amy? I'm terrified. She's terrified. And it's pretty brisk. <laughs> I feel a cold breeze up here. So, woo, definitely wear some warm clothes when you do this. It was warm down there. I was getting hot, but man. And you can see we're heading right up there in this beautiful corridor. And right to the right of us, actually, you could see some beautiful aspens changing their color right over here. So today's date is October the 11th, and their website is saying that peak season runs through, I believe, August 20th. So for the next week or so, um, right now, I'm seeing some beautiful color right up ahead. And to me, this almost looks peak to me in certain spots, but aspens are weird trees. I don't know the scientific reason why, but I've been on a recent trip up to the north room of the Grand Canyon where some of the aspens were changing color and some weren't. And if you want to see that video, I'll put a link in the description down below if you want to check that out. Amy is making a rare appearance here because I'm proud of her for doing this. <laughs> It was her idea, or actually it was my mother-in-law, her mother's idea. She, I didn't yeah. I didn't know about this. 
um, and she had posted something on Facebook or something. And uh, so I'm going to give a shout out <laughs> to my mother-in-law. Thank you <laughs> for this wonderful idea. Thanks for making me overcome my fear of heights. <laughs> This appears to be a prime spot heading up into here, but like right off of there, you see all sorts of colors. You got like some that are just turning yellow. You've got some that are orange. These down here are a spectacular gold color. You got it all mixed with the pine trees. Wow. So one thing I wanted to report on is in my older age, especially in some of my hiking adventures where there are steep drop offs, I've just recently been feeling more and more a sense of vertigo, that tingling in the back of your neck. Here, um, we're I think at the highest point, I think it's at about 50 feet above the ground. You can kind of see behind me. Um, for whatever reason, this is not causing me any issues at all. I feel very comfortable. This thing is moving very slowly um, and it's smooth for the most part. So if you have a fear of heights or anything, this may not be too bad for you. If you can tolerate a little bit, I think you can get this done. And we're currently stopped here in the middle of this forest. And once again, I want to remark on how quiet it is. I hear a slight breeze. And I see nothing but smiles on the faces of people coming back down. I can't wait for the ride back down for the view <laughs> that's behind us. I just noticed that. Oh my goodness. That's a... Uh... That is a spectacular view down there. And I wonder like, you know, one thing I don't know is they stop letting people onto the lift at four o'clock, which is when they officially close the snow bowl. But she said, if you're already on this, you can stay up there until about 4.30. I don't think we're gonna be able to see a sunset, unfortunately today, but imagine West is behind us somewhere back there. So I imagine if you could ride down this on a sunset, imagine that. And right here, you can see we are at elevation 10,000 feet. Now you can see too, I think we're maybe too high up for aspens because I don't see any aspens anymore. We'll catch them on the way down, but these are all pine trees up here. Now I was wondering, where is our destination? I was like, I don't know if they take you all the way up. Now I'm thinking we are going all the way up to the top of this peak. And I'm assuming we're gonna go above the tree line, but if we're not, you can see these peaks are so high that at one point, and if you end up hiking Humphreys Peak, you'll experience it yourself. It's kind of tundra up at the top. The trees stop growing because you're up above 12,000 feet up there. Now I would say this is kind of a romantic, has a potential for a romantic moment up here. Like I think if you wanna do a date or something here in autumn, this would be a fantastic date idea. And it gives you an excuse to cuddle because it is chilly. It is, it is chilly. getting colder by the minute. So, yes. So, awesome idea. Dress warm, fellas. <laughs> yeah, dress warm, or, or don't, don't, or don't dress warm. <laughs> it gives you an excuse to sit closer together. Now, needless to say, um, you you only see fall color pretty briefly on the way up, but I can already tell, and you can see. I think in the you know the view behind me, I'm gonna guess the money shots are on the way back down because you can see color all over the place. Don't get me wrong, this ride up, feeling the cold weather, especially if you're from Phoenix, where like I said, we're running our air conditioner today in Phoenix, just two hours south from here. So to me, it's worth it just for the novelty of experiencing cold weather. But these pine forests and the silence and the calm is just spectacular up here. Yeah, look, you can see our shadow below down there. Yeah. Looks like we're about to get off here at the top of this peak. And then we get to hang out for a little bit, I think. And then we take the ride all the way back down and we're gonna enjoy what you see behind me right now. Thank you. We did it. The chair's gonna keep moving, so we're gonna hop off from the yellow okay. to the green. <laughs> Go for it, guys. All right, we did it. Wow. Look at that. One really cool thing that I did confirm with a ranger is if you can see way off in the distance, you see what looks to be a cliff out there. That is the north rim of the Grand Canyon. And if you've seen some of my other videos, I was actually out there looking back at the San Francisco peaks. I've been bothering this poor ranger with so many questions, but yeah, that 
crater down there is what's called a cinder cone. It is a crater. Uh, I think it's called Walker Lake now, and it does fill the water apparently. But you can see how really well defined that is. And if you look around, all of this is just formed by volcanoes. In fact, what we're standing on here is a, an extinct giant volcano that once was about 15,000 feet high and would have looked somewhat like Mount Fuji in Japan. Now, I honestly didn't know much about this lift. And we came here specifically for the fall color, which you get a lot of that. Uh, but just to get up to this high elevation for the views alone is well worth it. So autumn or not, this is just awesome. This is amazing and awesome. It's the highest toilet in Arizona, 11,500 feet. And I'm gonna use it. Now probably needless to say, there is no running water up here. So it is a vault toilet, so just in case you were curious. They do also have water up here for you in case you're thirsty. You can just see down there like the fall color. Beautiful. We're gonna get much better views of that on the way down, so I'm not gonna spend too much time filming up here, but just take in this view. It's not often that you get to see a landscape such as this. And one other thing to point out is this right here is Humphreys Peak which is Arizona's highest peak at 12,633 feet high. I hiked it once a couple years ago and I do have photographic evidence to prove it. And I do plan on doing a video hiking up there. If not this year, then probably somewhat early next year, maybe around May or June. Getting ready for the ride down. It's almost our turn. <laughs> Alrighty, it's about time for the journey back down. So it looks like it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous and frightening at the same time. All right, here we go. All right. All right, we made it. And we're kind of swinging, we're bobbing back and forth as you can see. And yeah, it is a little frightening, but I'm adjusting here, but oh my goodness, that is the money shot. Isn't that a daisy? And look at that, you can see the snow down there, all of that fall color. This is why it's worth doing this, I would say. The ride up was amazing, but the ride down is where the magic happens. All right, we're moving again, but yeah, I just wanted to say a couple notes about being up on the peak, regardless of whether there's fall color or not. I've seen it once from hiking Humphreys Peak. Amy had not. I think this is her first chance getting to see the landscape below, but yeah, this is something that you need to try to do sometime, whether you hike it on foot, whether you take the chairlift, um, the views of what you can see up here. You, you can see for miles and miles and even though it's a little bit hazy today, it's just such a magical looking landscape. It, it is something else. And as you're driving up to the snow bowl, see where you have that really golden, those leaves, that big patch. I think we drove through that and there are a lot of people parked and that was a beautiful spot. Now it's not part of the scenic ski lift. It's part of the road driving up here. Uh, but boy, was that beautiful. I honestly was a little concerned coming up here because it's hard to really judge when is the prime time. Their website says now, but um, they do have a live cam on their site and that didn't make it look quite as prime to me. You could see a little bit, so we kind of felt like we were taking a chance coming up here today and we wanted to kind of get up here at the beginning of it so we can get this video out for you guys in case you want to try to get up here in the next week or so and, and know how it works know what it's like before you come up but yeah this did not disappoint today and the further we descend and get below the trees the more in the shade we're at at times and boy don't underestimate how chilly it gets <laughs> you're not in the sun my fingers are numb right now i am cold yeah, we're both shivering and I'm looking at that patch of sunlight down there and I'm like, bring it on. So we've kind of entered back in the realm of the changing leaves. Look how gorgeous those are. 
Uh, but the point I want to make is, you know, you can really get a nice view of that, which we couldn't see as well on the way up. Uh, a lot of orange mixed in there. And we're nearing the bottom now, nearing our destination, so I thought this might be an appropriate place to give you a few final thoughts about our experience here at the Snowball today. It's beautiful beyond words. It exceeded all of my expectations. It was worth every penny of the $19 per adult to do this. Things that I didn't know were how cold it gets up here. So be prepared for the cold, number one. Um, also know that I think the views of the fall color are much better on the way down. So don't fret if on the way up you think, oh, that was very short lived. Another amazing thing is I got to use the highest toilet in the state of Arizona. So that's something you can brag about to your friends should you decide to come here. <laughs> but. If you do want to come out here, I filmed this on October 11th. You probably have another week or so, I'm hearing, to see it in its prime. So if you want to get down here, you need to hurry up. You don't want to miss this one. And you can see we're almost down at the bottom. All right, it says to raise the restraint. So let me get my feet off of there. The restraint is raised and we are free flying now, coming down for a landing. Pop up the yellow straight ahead back okay. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Look how far up we went. All the way up to the top. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, hit that notification bell to stay informed anytime we release new videos, which we're doing all the time. Also, you can find us on social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the name Cactus Atlas. Well, that's going to do it for this one, folks, and I hope you enjoyed it. We loved having you along with us, and we're excited for our next adventure, so stay tuned, and we'll see you really soon. So I just used the highest toilet in Arizona. Boom!